All right, it's that time again, time for the solo overnighter in the woods. <sighs> and today, we're getting away from all the construction builds, getting back out in the actual woods, and we're gonna get it done with something that I refer to as a reverse tripod shelter. Let's get to it. All right, so reverse tripod shelter. What are we talking about here? Tripod, three legs, okay? Two are gonna be the bipod for the front of the shelter. Now, traditionally, the third leg either goes over top and you tie your tarp to it, or it runs along the inside and the tarp drapes over it. We're gonna do the opposite of that. The third leg is gonna be in the front. So bipod, shelter, third leg. Let's get to it. So the back end right here is going to be the middle loop up on top. I'm going to fold everything else underneath like a taco. The top's going to be right here connected to our tripod. Then we have a loop on each side to go here and here. All right, so you can see what we're gonna to try to attempt here. You have a good seven or eight inch gap right here. We're gonna lower the front leg down like this, and it should bring it forward to where it's leaning forward like this. Once it touches the ground, I can stake it out, and we're gonna have three walls right here and a sloped roof.
So the main reason why I dig a small pit during the summertime is because when I'm done, put the fire out and bury her back up. And then you got a nice little bowl right here. So any wind picks up, it's not blowing your coals everywhere. Now the idea is small fire, keep the flames down here, make a small notch right here. I can hang a pot holder off of here, dangle it over the fire, and then just remove it when I'm done. You can also disinfect water this way and collect the bottle of water, hang it right here over the fire, disinfect it, pull it back off. So you need to add a small notch right here for a toggle or a stick or a Y branch, and we'll be in business. Yeah, so basically we have a sloped roof right here and we have three sides of coverage. And if it were to rain, I could hunker back in here. Nice small fire out front here for light. Maybe in the wintertime time for a little bit of heat, but basically I don't want any flames higher than a foot and it should trap most of that heat anyways. And it's gonna be hot today and tonight. So to hell with the fire. Ugh. Thinking, figure out some type of pot holder system for this and then maybe, you know, work on some chow. Or nap time first, one of the two. Let's go ahead and do something a little bit different. Out of character, if you will. I'm gonna go ahead and open my Etsy store. Go to the video description box, click on Etsy, and check her out. We have cold handle skillets. We have military surplus gear. Two by three and a half OD green Corporal's Corner patches. And now we have Corporal's Corner forged frog gigs. We're calling it the Predator. I dropped a midweek video on Thursday. Keeping with the tradition of YouTube, most missed it. You weren't notified. So, two choices. Go back and check out that video, or I'll give you a quick clip right now how I came up with this and then how we made it. Let's roll it. Now, a real quick backstory on how I came up with this. A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, around 1990-ish, I was 13. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a minute at least, huh? Anyway, I was 13 and we snuck into, we meaning friends and I, snuck into a movie theater to watch Predator 2. And there's a scene where Danny Glover's friend, Danny, goes to check out a crime scene and finds something lodged in a wall. Well, he goes to get it out and gets zapped by Predator, he's done. The cops retrieve Danny's body and Harrigan, or Danny Glover, pries something that looks like this from Danny's dead hand. When I saw that when I was 13, I was like, that's a frog gig. Predator, frog hunter. So it's just stuck in my mind all these years, 30 plus years later. And I'm like, dude, I gotta recreate that. So this is inspired by Predator 2. And guess what? We're gonna call it The Predator. And I'll show you a quick, well, I'll give you a tour of my shop. And in doing that, I'll show you how I came up with this and how we built this out of round stock, quarter inch round stock. Here we go. just like that. Okay, so it's about an hour and 25 minutes to make five of these. All I gotta do now is cut them, the little notches, and then sand it, and that take about five minutes.
frog season doesn't start till June 9th, so you're SOL until then to see me actually use this bad boy. However, where there's a predator, there's a predator two, a predator three, four, five, and such. So stick with me, more great things to come. So that height right there looks good. We we'll have the bale on the bush pot here. Um, we'll go ahead and put a bale notch here, maybe one a little bit higher as well. Then we'll figure this part out here so it won't slip. I want a stopper or a groove. That way I can grab the handle and just take it off or put it back on. So last thing here, just remove that material around where the point is for the bale. There we go, Corporal's Shrimp Alfredo. It's not red lobster, but it's the best we can do. Eat that shrimp. Look at that bad boy. Mm. Like I said, not red lobster, but it'll do. Catch you all in a few. Oh man. Time for dishes. All right, so we talked about the Etsy shop. Yes, it's open. We have military surplus gear, military cook sets. I believe a harness is in there like the one I wear. Um, cold handle skillets. The cowboy skillets are in there, as usual. Um, yeah, something about that, man. I've been putting those in my videos for almost two years now. So, glad you guys can finally get a hold of them. Um, what else we got going here? Yeah, every single Sunday for two years. That's like 110 videos or so. Anyway, um, what else we got going here? Um, OD green bag patches are in there as well. And we got hat patches coming. The new Predator Frog gig is in there. That's gonna be made to order, meaning that I'm gonna list maybe 25 to 50, then we're gonna pull them out, I'm gonna make them, send them, and then I'm gonna add 25 to 50 more. So my advice is to follow my Etsy shop. Go there period periodically, every other day, check it out. Um, follow the Etsy store, follow my YouTube channel, follow my Instagram. Um, that way you're not missing a video, you're not missing notifications, you're not missing an Etsy drop. And we got a lot more stuff coming too. So, I was a welder, fabricator, iron worker for several years. 
and I became a certified welding inspector. So I'm going to put those skills to use. Um, hope you guys enjoy it and stick around. Last thing we have is my hardcore hammers. This is going to be my new go-to. This hatchet right here, the survival hatchet. And the super naturalist survival hatchet as well. I've shown both of those. I had a midweek video on those. If you haven't seen that midweek video, go check it out. If you use this code right here, CCUSFREE23, it's going to give you free shipping site-wide. So check them out. That link, along with my Etsy link, are in my description box. Other than that, let me mention it one more time, my Instagram page, uh, a lot of people are missing out. I've started posting things almost every single day, what I'm doing, teasers, tidbits, me working in the shop, things like that. Follow me at Corporal's Corner on Instagram. On that note, catch you all in the morning. We'll talk about the shelter. Reverse tripod tarp shelter. Tripods in the front instead of the back. This allows a method to hang your bush pot over the fire like such. Important thing to remember about this pot notch right there is make sure it's in line with your L7 or Y branch, meaning in the same plane, it's on this side, so it's on this side, that when you hang it, it won't slip off. Adding this little stopper on here, keeps it from sliding down, and it worked out well. So, more great things to come. Let's send this bad boy off. With that, all the gear in my videos can be found at three places. One, my Amazon Influencer page, and two, my Self-Reliance Outfitters Influencer page. And now three, my Etsy page. All three links can be found inside my description box. Now please do me that favor. Hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. And as always, thank you for your comments, views, and support. Thanks for watching. Get out in the field, have some fun. I'm going to catch you next time. Now it's time for Corporal's final thoughts. So I've pulled back on the uh, final thoughts for the past two or three weeks because Jerry Springer died and out of respect, kind of wanted to give everybody time to digest that, but we're back now. So let's kick this bad boy off with just a thought, something that um, I realized the other day. Um, paying for goods and services, okay? When you pay for something, you expect something. Um, let's use an example of somebody going to vocational school or college, get a vocational certificate so you can go work someplace, uh, car mechanic, let's use that, or you go get an associate's degree, bachelor's degree, master's degree, you get a degree and then you go work someplace. Now, a lot of confusion comes into play when people, they think that, or they tend to think that, they work somewhere or they're working somewhere for 20 years or 10 years that they're stuck only in that place, they can only work in that facility, and if they go somewhere else, there's almost some type of guilt or um, buyer's remorse. Um, the reality is you paid for goods and services. So let's break that down. We use the auto mechanic as an example, okay? Toyota's auto plant. You go there, you wanna be a car mechanic. So let's say you go there, you go through their school, get your trade certificate, you're schooled up, you're skilled up, but you don't get hired at Toyota. Do you say to yourself, golly gee, I just spent a year going to mechanic school, didn't get hired by Toyota, Toyota, so better go work at McDonald's. No, you go somewhere else, apply for a job, and then you work. Okay, same with being a lawyer, doctor, attorney. So let's say you go to Harvard for some reason, and 
Harvard doesn't hire you for any position, do you say, man, I just pissed away four, six, or eight years, well, off to Walmart as a greeter. No, you go find some other place to work. Now, the same is true for individuals who work a job for two, three, five, 10, 20 years. Life happens. Let's say your kids are going to college, a family member is sick, you need to better yourself for more retirement, better benefits, more pay, signing bonus, um, better vacations, better work hours, things like that. Or, I want to be in business for myself. Bottom line, there shouldn't be guilt on either party, because in the end, you paid for goods and services. You are now schooled up, skilled up, and trained to go do that job or that lifestyle that you chose. And you can go do it anywhere for anyone, including yourself. So, those that are in the rat race, something to think about this week as you get up at 4 o'clock in the morning, hop in the vehicle, and head to work. Until next time, take care of yourself and each other.